Okay, people, sheet five, intersecting planes. Now, we have got here, this is probably the toughest situation where we've got two planes and no line of intersection. So we are looking for this line of intersection along down here. That is what we're looking for. So uh, what I would do there, and we're asked to solve it using horizontal cutting plates. So in this case there, I'll try and use a few colors again just to make life easier. So I'm going to take a horizontal section at this height through C. So it doesn't matter what height that is, but just maybe to help people understand it. All right, so that's a height of about 72. And that horizontal line, it goes from C to this point on AB. So when I project that down, that is here. And this is a horizontal line on AC at a height of 72. Now, the horizontal line then on the green triangle, I'll just one point is on DE. Just be careful that you don't mix them up when you're bringing them down. And DF is the other end of that line. So when I join those two dots, that is a horizontal line at the same height on DF. And this here is a point on the line of intersection. And if I wanted now, I could bring that back up to the elevation. And that there is one point on the line of intersection, probably like this. Now, we're going to repeat the process again now because I'm going to move down lower. So I'm going to take the other one. You don't have to. It's just to speed it up. I'm going to take the other one through F. It just makes sense. It reduces you having to project an extra point down. So just again there, you don't need to mark the height at all, but that's like 34. Just to help people understand it, okay? So, so F is going to that point on DE. This is on the green plane here now, so DE, so it's here. Going to F. Now, something worth noting there is that all these, this horizontal line here should be parallel to the one higher up because horizontal, on a sloping surface, all the horizontal lines are parallel, okay? So, that's the one on the green plane. So now we've got a point on BA, which is here. And on BC, which is here. So when I join these, now that should be parallel to the other line above, which it is, to this one. So both of these lines here are at a height of 34, and where they cross, that there is another point. Just going to mark it up here. So we now have two points at two different heights on the line of intersection, which allows us to draw the line of intersection. So I'll just put in a blue pen here. So it just, I'll start on pen, not that it matters. So here is our line of intersection and the line of intersection has to stay within the two triangles because triangles can't have a line of intersection outside of one of them. So there's our elevation and there's our plan of the line of intersection using horizontal sections. 
Now there's another way of doing this. I might just pause this and color in those planes again. Okay, just throw a few colors on that there. Now, the other way of doing this <coughs> is if we take a horizontal line on one of the planes, so I'm gonna just pick C here and just go through that. So CX, horizontal line, going to find point X in plan. So this is our bog standard edge view of a plane thing. So here's X. That's my horizontal line. So again there, basic understanding there is like if you walk from X to C, you're going horizontal. If you went to A, you'd be going uphill. If you went to B, you'd be going downhill. Looking down and it just help, help picture that. So I'm going to project a view looking along XC. And we're going to get an edge view of the plane that way. So So here's our XY line anywhere. So we've projected ABC. So I'll just project E. F. D. So there's all our lines. Just drop a few verticals here as well for accuracy. So A is that far or that height. So we're projecting from plan last X, Y line back always. So here's B. Now really, if you trust yourself, that has to be the edge view of the plane. So two points would do if you trust yourself, but I wouldn't recommend it really. You're better off to take C. Okay, so um, that just proves to yourself like that that is the edge view. Now, I'll take E here now next. Now this is not going to be an edge view. So there's D, E, and F. So I'll just draw this in. So there is our green plane. So this is F, E, D, A, and B, and C. So we've got an edge view of the pink plane, which is where we took our horizontal section along, looked along that. That's actually X, N, C. So we're saying a point view of that red line there. Now, here is where that plane would cut through ED. 
or F, should I say. So I'm going to just project that back. So on the EF line, that is where the plane would cut through it. So I want that point. And at the other end, that is where that plane would cut through FD here. So I'm going to bring that back to FD. Okay, so just the only thing with drawing this line is you've got to keep it within the two triangles. So you're joining the dots, but you're keeping the line of intersection within the two triangles. So you can see that is the same as over here. It's a different way of establishing the same thing, the line of intersection, but it stays within the lines and just to project that now to elevation. So I know one end of the line of intersection is on DF. And the other end is on BC. So there is my line of intersection, same as the last one as well. Now, which method is better? I suppose it's a matter of personal choice, really. I tend to prefer this one myself because it doesn't involve drawing an extra view. And if that allows just a bit more space around the place, because once I have the line of intersection here now, if I want to get the dihedral angle, I would be getting the true length of that and looking along it. And you can see there, if I was trying to take the true length in this direction now, I'd have to be drawing out beyond. So I, I prefer the horizontal sections method because it saves a bit of space.